Um, this is a quick tutorial on how to copy files between um, environments in Reclaim Cloud. Something that I had struggled with for a bit, and so I figured something out and I wanted to document that to hopefully make that easier for other folks going forward. So I'm going to jump right into it and share my screen. And I have it kind of set up so I can do this um, between two environments I already have. The idea here, if you give you a kind of general overview, would be if you had two environments in Reclaim Cloud, and so this is my Reclaim Cloud account, and I am actually playing with Ghost. And I had Ghost in a particular instance, environment, we'll call it here, which is called the source. Um, you can see that up there, it says source. And I wanted to move a series of files easily between that environment to another environment called Baba Ghost Target. So what I'm gonna be doing is showing you how to move directories or files between, um, between environments in Reclaim Cloud, which doing it in other ways could mean SSH, could mean rsync. Um, there are a lot of other things you might have to do that can get complicated with key pairs and et cetera. This I found is a very interesting and easy way. So without further ado, let me get started. The first thing to do is on my source, I have a load balancer and I have the application server. The files I wanna move are on the application files, uh, application server. So I'm gonna go here um, and I am gonna click on this wrench, which is config. And it's basically like, if you're familiar with cPanel, file manager for cPanel. So I'm gonna click here and immediately it brings me into a series of files and directories, some of which are considered favorites because they have things you might use based on the application or often use. And you can actually favorite particular um, uh, files in or directories in Reclaim Cloud just by going to favorite or remove favorites, etc. So images isn't or is favorite, but I could, I could actually favorite exports, etc. So without further ado, I want to move files, content files from my ghost file to from my ghost application to another ghost application in a different environment. So what I'm going to have to do is a find out where that content is. And Ghost, as a Docker instance, installs all files into var lib ghost. So if I go there, I can see I have my content, which is favorited, and then a whole other bunch of files. I wanna actually move this content directory to the other environment. So here's how you would do that. You would click here next to this cog wheel, and then you would click export, right? So I'm gonna go to export, and at this point, what you get is a drop-down option. It's saying, here's where you are. So this is the node I'm in, in Ghost Source, or Baba Ghost Source. And here's the path I'm at. Where do you want to send this directory? So what other environment that you manage do you want to share it with? And that's where I can go to this drop-down and look through all my different environments, which is crazy, and say, I want to send this to Baba Go's target, to that server or that environment. So I click on that, and it selects the container, and then the next thing is I'm going to decide what path I want to send it to. So I can choose any path, it just has to exist, and I'm going to go with var lib, right, and then um, ghost, and then slash, content from the source. So I'm going to call it content source. Okay. So that's the path that I'm going to. I'm going to take the stuff in var lib ghost content or var slash lib slash ghost slash content and push it to var lib ghost content dash source. So once I do that, I'll leave this all as is and I'll click add. And what essentially is doing it's like Taylor, my colleague, said it's poking a hole in the other container and it's a direct line between the two containers where you can grab those files and copy them where you want them in the new environment. Very useful if you're migrating a ghost like I am from one environment to another. Okay, so we did that. 
the test here is when I go to var slash lib slash ghost slash content dash source on the target server, will it be there? So I was in the source. That's where I started. I'm going to go to the target and I'm going to click here on the config again. And then I am going to go to var slash lib, there it is, slash ghost, there it is, and then content source. And you see this little, you can probably see it, it's basically the sign of a network drive. So the directory on the source is now shared via network drive, a direct connection with the target, which is Baba Ghost target. So I now have anything I need within that file and I can essentially use SSH or um, the web SSH right within Reclaim Cloud to copy these directories and folders to anywhere I want in a new environment. It's really powerful to actually quickly and easily move files between container environments um, in or environments in Reclaim Cloud. It's called Migrate, and the name can be confusing, but I found it you know, to work beautifully. After this, I can now, and another thing I learned, which I think is awesome, is so I go to Ghost and I wanna copy the path to this direct thing, because when I'm doing copying between files, I want that path. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go into the web SSH here on the target, and I'm going to copy or CP or change directory. So CD, forgive me. I'm into that path. So CD, copy in the path. There it is. I'm going to list L. So I'm going to get a detailed list of everything in there. So the, all, there's all basically my content files and directories from Ghost. They're now in the new container. And then I would copy them using something like copy verbose and I would do where from to where to directory. So I can copy here, that's where it's from, right? Say so I just want to copy the images folder, right? And everything in it. So I'm going to do that. Well, well, actually I know what I want to do. Just do one directory. I could do everything, but I just want to do images and I want to spell it right. Images dash zip to um, root ghost images. And I know I have this set up. There is a, a, a directory in the root slash ghost slash images, which is where my new ghost is installed. And so when I do this, that images.zip file should copy over. I'm afraid I might have already copied it over, so we'll see. But yeah, it's already there, so I'm just going to overwrite it. And boom, it's done. So rather than having to SFTP or rsync or um, scoop between these two um, environments, server environments, you're really poking a hole between the two and copying files. Once you're done with this, everything's there, right? And I can go and double check that that worked. So I can go to here, config. I can go back to the main area. I said, if you were following these paths, that root slash ghost slash images would have that zip file. So let's see if it copied. There it is. It worked. This is amazing. There's not that many files in there. It was only 64 megabytes, but it was such a pain for me to do this before I figured out this um, export tool to migrate. It's not called migrate. It's the export tool. And again, you follow, you catch it right by right clicking and doing it. So once you're done with this, you want to un, basically unmount that drive from the existing, from the, the new container or the target container. So I'm going to go back to var lib. So let me go here, go back to lib. I know it's var. Nope. I don't want that. I want var lib, which is where when you're doing a ghost official Docker container, it usually installs it in var lib slash ghost. And here we have that networked directory with the files. I'm going to now unmount it. 
and it's going to say, are you sure? Yes. And so this basically breaks the connection between the two containers and we're done. So if you're having issues moving files or a lot of files, directories, et cetera, between um, environments in Reclaim Cloud, this is a great way at it. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.